how to get those U-turns dialed in in one session. You will see I have the course set up. We have 24 foot going into 22, I think, yeah, 22 foot, and then going into 18. Go to walk you through it and show you how it looks. Okay, here we have it. This is how it's set up. From here to here is 24 foot. So you just do 24 foot all the way down. Then as you come getting comfortable with it, you come to your 22 right here, or 20 if you prefer, and you put the green cone. So all you're riding inside here is 22 foot U-turns. And then you get comfortable with 22 foot and you come all the way down here, put your next green cone down and you just measure 18 feet and you can get your 18 foot U-turns. A lot of people practice their U-turns and they started at 36 feet, down to 30, down to 24 and then they stop in at 24. But you can do this all in one shot and you do not need a lot of cones. I just put a lot of cones out here for visualization purposes. Okay, what I'm gonna do is get started and show you how to do multiple U-turns getting tighter and tighter as you go. That way you don't have to keep stopping your bike and resetting up the cones. So I'm coming down here, first one is going to be the 24 foot U-turn, everything the same. Whip that head and eyes around and make that U-turn. There you go. One more time with the 24. And you can come out, out here and start you a dip. Dip, get that momentum going, 24. And you are completed that U-turn. Okay. The next one is, okay, I got the 24 down. I want to try to get tighter. I don't feel like setting up cones anymore. I got this, this whole course set up, so now I'm coming inside. Green cone is the 22. Look where you want to go and continue. Now you're still in the 24 right now. So you make another U-turn. Look where you want to go. Taking the bike and go. Now I want to do that 22 again until I get comfortable doing it. 22 completed it okay after you do that a couple of thousand times you say okay now it's time for me to get that 18 foot turn i ride a big bike i want to get that 18 foot turn so you go to your next green cone see everything is all pre-set up so you don't have to do it again you know the next green cone is 18 foot so you come to 18 foot coming around right on the edge drop the bike gas and go last time with the 18 foot I got a car coming in. Let's see where he's gonna go. Let me get out the way. This car coming in. So we can go. Oh, okay. Okay, this is Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders. We're in a parking lot right now. And I want to introduce you to this brother. Tell me your name. My name is Dwayne Greggs. How you doing here? I was just happening to be going down the street and I saw this gentleman here in the parking lot doing some obstacles and I had to pull over and see. I was just amazed. I, <laughs> I was just stunned. I didn't want to bother him or anything, but I was right. just watching. And if you saw what I saw, you'd be as amazed as I am. Thank you so much. And good out there in practice. You ready to get started, <laughs> right? Sure you're right? Tell them what you ride. What you ride? What you ride? Tell them what you ride. You I ride, ride a road glide, a 16 road glide. Right, I'm going to ride better when I get with him. Just like that. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> Bam. There All right, go. thank you. Peace out. Peace. <laughs> right, we go ahead. Just watching. So now I'm just going to start inside the 24 foot one. And here's the 22. Make a four U turn. And go into the 18. Right here. As long as you don't look at those cones, you'll be okay. Just use them as a reference, that's all. Just just think of it, if it's a curve, then I don't want to hit the curve, so. Find your spot and go. Last time, last one. Is the 18, right here is the 18 foot, right here, last one. Find me a spot. And I am done. So that's so that's how you set up multiple U-turns. You can do multiple U-turns 
by setting it up all at one time. And this is a small parking lot. You don't need as many cones. You just do it and you can actually space the cones out farther than I had them spaced out. I just done it for visual visualization purposes. So until then, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like this. Once you subscribe, make sure that you ring that notification bell so you'll know when Rich and K, AKA Boost and G's ride to put up another video. Until then, this is what I want you guys to do. Ride long, ride hard, make sure you ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. Get out there and get you some practice on. Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders. Peace.